Hi everyone, welcome back. Today we're looking at Sokatoa, trigonometry, and we're going to be figuring out how to find the angles of right angle triangles. So if you know anything about Sokatoa already, and you should have watched my previous video on Sokatoa, you know the uh, right angle triangle is labelled like this. Where well, you've got the angle you're interested in, and the right angle like this. Opposite the angle you're interested in is the opposite. Next to the right angle and the angle is the adjacent. And the longest side, opposite the right angle, is called the hypotenuse, the hype, op, adj, and type. As I say, that is in my previous video, so just make sure you watch that one first. And in the previous video, we looked at these formula triangles for sin, cos, and tan. Um, and we looked at uh, how we can work out the sides using them. But today we're looking at the angles, and so... Example one, we're going to go straight in. And here we're going to label the sides we're given. We're given the opposite and we're given the adjacent and we want to find this angle over here, theta. Theta is a symbol I use for angles. So which formula triangle do we use for op and adjacent? Well, it's the one that has opposite and adjacent, which is tan, opposite and adjacent. So this triangle over here, this formula triangle has opposite and adjacent. And we know that tan of the angle is equal to opposite over the adjacent. Tan of the angle is opposite over adjacent. We put those numbers in. Tan of the angle is 3 over 8. And now we use the inverse tan. And we do that by going to our calculator and clicking shift and then tan. And we get inverse tan. And we put 3 eighths into that to get our angle. So whenever you're trying to find an angle with Sakatoa, you need to use inverse tan, or tan to the minus 1, or shift tan, whatever you want to call it. You click shift, and then sin cos of tan, whichever one you want. Tie that into your calculator, try that now, and you should get uh, 20.5566 degrees. Just make sure you get the exact same answer as I do, so you know you're using calculator correctly. And we can round that to one decimal place, 20.6 degrees. And that is the final answer. Let's see another example. Here we are trying to find the angle. One side is 19.27 and the other side is 12.1. We'll label the angles opposite and hypotenuse. And here, which formula triangle we use? I think we're going to use sine because sine has opposite and hypotenuse in it. And so sine of the angle is equal to opposite over hypotenuse. Put the numbers in. And now we do inverse sine, sine minus 1, shift sine on your calculator, uh, like this, and your calculator will tell you the answer is 50.006352 degrees. We round that to one decimal place, or just the nearest whole number, as the case may be, and here is the final answer, 50 degrees. Just make sure when you type this in, that you can type this into your calculator and you do get the right answer. Finally, let's look at uh, some practice questions for you to try. So pause the video now and try to see if you can get the right answers uh, yourself. Okay, you've got the formula triangles at the bottom of the screen to help you. And you will, of course, need your calculator for this. This is not possible in your head. Okay, so I'll reveal the answers in three, two, one. Did you get it right? Let me know in the comments. Thank you for watching today's video from Advanced Maths. We have plenty, plenty more videos coming every week uh, covering all of secondary maths from GCSE to A level and IB. So remember to like and subscribe so you don't miss any future videos. But thank you for watching and good luck in your exams.